<laughs> Guys, we are back. Whew, it's January. I'm feeling pumped. It's good to be back, guys. It's good to be back and making videos and seeing all of you lovely people here. I thought I'd take the opportunity today to read out some more nasty comments from my YouTube or, or hate comments or whatever you want to call them because I get quite a lot of them as anybody on this platform is going to encounter. So without further ado, we're going to get into it, read the comments and we're going to have a good laugh. Okay, guys. So let me have a disclaimer here, just that I don't mean anything bad on any of these people. I actually love all my haters and I did a video all about loving haters and I'll try and link that in a card above here and the description below if you wanna see why you should also love your haters. But before we get started, if you're new around here or you're already subscribed, right? First thing you need to do, if you're new around here, subscribe right now and turn the notification bell on. This is super important. If you don't turn the notification bell on, YouTube will not tell you when my videos go out and I want you guys to be there first of all because when my videos go out, the comment section. I'm sitting there waiting for you guys to comment so I can have a conversation with you. So if you want to have a conversation with me live, make sure to hit the notification bell. So if you're already a subscriber, make sure to hit the notification bell and set it to see all, all the time, all notifications. So when my video goes up, you're the first one to go on there, get on the video, get into the comment section and have a chat with me. And I usually premiere my stuff. So there's like a live chat going on as well. We'll have a bit of banter, you know what I mean? Hey. Anyway, guys, getting back to the point at hand, I received tons and tons and tons of horrible comments from people because people can just be nasty, but that's okay. Cause we'll have a good laugh about it. So. Hey guys, before we get jumping into this video, I just want to let you know that I have a free PDF download ebook that helps you turn your traits into superpowers very, very quickly. So if you'd like to get your hands on that, just click the download link in the description below and you'll be well on your way. All right, back to the video. Okay, we're gonna jump into the comments right now. Okay guys, so this is comment number one. <laughs> It's only totally creepy. This person, Rich King, said, show us, show us your kid and missus. Which, if you're not from the UK, missus means like you're the missus, the Mrs. Jones or the, the wife or whatever. So it's really weird that this person's like, show us, like a demand, show us your kid and your missus. I mean, it's only totally creepy. I mean, I went with Spice was guy like hangs out outside my street with like binoculars, like, hi Dan, I can see you and your missus. So, um, that's really weird, but I mean, yeah. Okay guys, next comment here. As, this is taken from a video, Asperger's is an adult, nine ways you can spot symptoms. So this person, Grey Earl, it's a cool name, because actually there's a tea here in the UK called Earl Grey, so that's kind of cool, he must be named after tea. He said, would it be accurate to describe Asperger's as chronic overthinking? I mean, no. Uh, I, I, Okay, next comment here, number three. Um, we have 19 of these to go, by the way. These are super, super awesome. And also, guys, if you're watching this, um, I just want to know, hey, have you got anything nice to say or something funny to say? Put it in a comment down below, and yeah, let's, let's, you might be featured on a video just like this. Oh, big shout out to anybody as well. I'm trying to like just get more friends on Instagram and Twitter, so if you want to go and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I'll follow you right back. My Instagram and Twitter handle should be on the screen here somewhere, and the links directly are in the description below, so you can just hop on there, follow me, I'll follow you back, and then, hey, we'll be friends. Friends forever. So this one is taken from a video I did about 10 Asperger's symptoms that you, you must know, you know. Kind of like a video where people should just come across my videos. So this one is Toasty Volvo, which is a bit cool. I've never owned a Volvo, don't know if they're toasty or not. And they said, sad you accept these labels instead of owning your personality as yours. Sad world. I mean, I don't know if it's really that sad. Is it really that sad that you just go, okay, well, I was diagnosed with a condition and I, take full responsibility for being that person. It's not really a label, it's just what, you know, what you are, what you, you can't, you know, you, we don't decide who we are, it just is. It is what it is, and that's what it is. So yeah, okay, thanks that Toasty Volvo. I'm sure that you're gonna be very warm and cozy in your Volvo. Okay, the next one, number four. Oh, it's taken from the video as well. Um, this is from the nine uh, ways you can spot the symptoms Asperger's video, which we talked about a few minutes ago. So this person has said, Oh wait, their name is Lectron Circuits? Circuit? Sorry, I'm super dyslexic, so there's no way I'm gonna be able to read that word. Okay, they said, ass hyphen burgers. Oh. Do you know, if I had a quid, if I had a pound, quid is a pound, if I had a pound for every single time somebody says ass burgers or mentions South Park, I'd be a bazillionaire. Okay, ass burgers can be vexing 
she is vexing. I'm not entirely sure what the word vexing means, to be honest with you. Vexing. Okay, so let's do it. Vexing means as causing an annoyance, frustration, or worry. Okay, so yes, it can cause some worry, I guess. It could be vexing. Cheers. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. The only thing I don't like about this comment is that they said ass burgers and it's weird that they're saying ass burgers. So, yeah, I mean, just it's a bit weird, isn't it? Bit weird, aren't it? Bit weird. Okay, I'm so pumped. It's January. I'm back in the office. I've got like new lights on the go. I did a video all about the new lights. If you want to see that, then just go back a couple of videos. And, yeah. Okay, cool. So, this is comment number five from the comments of my haters and people who don't really love me as much as all of you guys do. And I know you love me so much. So, big loves. Guys, if you love me and love this channel, please give this video a thumbs up because the thumbs up makes me realize that I am loved and it just helps me out a lot. So, yeah, if you give this video a thumbs up, it would just share some love and sharing love is awesome. Okay, this person commented on the video, asked Burgers how you spot it, five signs, and they said, their name is Nicole Cranfill, and they said, you actually can't tell, sad face. I can't tell what? You actually can't tell what? You actually can't tell what? You actually can't tell. There's no context. There's no context around this comment. What the hell does this mean? You actually can't tell. What? What? Cool picture of a cat, though. Okay, the next comment, number six, Asperger's test. How you test for Asperger's fast. This is a cool video, actually, if you want to check it out. Yeah, you can just Google any of these titles or just put them into YouTube and you'll, you'll find these videos. Okay. Stephen Thury said, get that disgusting piece of metal out of your lip. Full stop. <laughs> Do you know what? The amount of people have comments about my piercings and, and tattoos and stuff. They're like, they're like my ears. Are, I've got gouges or stretches in my ears. These are 12 millimeter, and then I have this piercing in my lip. I had when I was 18. Same with the, the piercings, and I started tattooing because I really enjoy tattooing. I did a video all about autumn and tattooing actually, and how that kind of like it's almost like stimming when you get a tattoo. It's like soothing because it's like um, it like vibrates and stuff. And anyway, I did a video all about that. I'll try and link it below if I remember, or an account above here because I'm just so nice. Just giving you guys all these videos I just love it okay um, this person okay so get that disgusting piece of metal out of your lip uh, first of all why do you think the Stephen has the audacity Stephen will call him Steve why does Steve has the audacity to tell me that I have to get rid of something because he disapproves it's bizarre isn't it it's like going into a shop and noticing that you didn't like the color of the walls and be like can you change the color of these walls like well it's not up to you is it Steve you know what I mean Come on, Steve, jog on. God, Steve. Okay, next comment here. Um, from Shella Heed, or Head. Uh, I don't know which video it's taken from, or this is from a different comment section. I oh, know it is YouTube. I don't know. Oh, God, I swear in my eye. What the heck is going on? Ah, dust everywhere. Hey, guys. Right. Just wondering when and where you became an expert on mental disorders and became qualified to diagnose the symptoms. Okay, so my background actually. Um, the, nobody, I've never said that I'm an expert on mental disorders, never. And I also never said that I was qualified to diagnose anything. So my background, if you have to know, I have a degree in chemistry, um, which is like stems from making drugs to learning how atomic structures work in 3D space. And uh, then I also am qualified as a counselor. I'm a class level two counselor for psycho counseling, which is a mental health uh, counseling. And uh, other than that, um, yeah, I never said I was qualified, really. It's a bit weird, isn't it? So, thanks, Shella, for having complete nonsensical information on here. And I give it a thumbs down. <laughs> uh, that's what you get. That's what you get. Okay, the next comment. Oh, it's a double whammy. Number eight is a double whammy. I love double whammies. There's those two comments in it. All right, okay. This one's taken from a video I did about Greta Thunberg, or Tinberg, um, or, uh, being attacked by like Trump and Fox News and stuff. And uh, this person said, I love global warming, exclamation mark. So he's like that. Who the heck is like that? And then they said another comment. Um, their, their name is Headbanger, with two R's, by the way. And then they... Um, they put another comment saying, Greta, the 16-year-old freak, exclamation mark, and a smiley face. I mean, that, and they've liked it. Who's liked that? I probably they've liked it themselves. I mean, I do as well. When I put anything on, online, I always like it because, you know, you gotta have a bit of self-love. If you don't love the self, how is anybody else going to love you? Okay, so you gotta love the self. Start with number one, love yourself, and then that radiates out. Anyway, so Greta, the 16-year-old freak, is it, 
I mean, freaks in capsule letters and an exclamation mark. You know, just because, and Greta Thunberg actually has Asperger's syndrome, same diagnosis as me actually, and I think that's kind of offensive, you know, for anybody. But it's funny because this person clearly is just doing this just to get a rise, but it's funny, they made it into the video. Well done. Headbanger. You won that round, but I'm coming for you. Okay, not really, I'm not gonna do anything. Right, anyway, next comment. That would be pretty cool. Number nine, this one was taken from a video I did about social anxiety and autism in girls with my friend Shal Davis, who will be back on this channel this year because the lovely Shal Davis will be back and she has her own channel as well. Shal is one of my best friends and she also was on an MTV show called Just to Two of Us, which is in like season five, which is crazy. So Shal, thanks a lot for being on this channel with me and I will talk to you soon. She actually tried to call me last night, but I was already asleep in bed. So here we go. Um, Ava Rockwell said, oh my God, dude, shut up in capital letters. Let your guest talk talk about male dominated on my last nerve. Well, I'm not entirely sure how this reads. Let's read it again. OMG, which is the oh my god, I'm dude, shut up. Let your guest talk talk about male dominated on my last. Okay, there's no there's no grammar here. There's no like there's no commas. There's no full stops. There's no exclamation points. Which I think it should be at the end of shut up because you know I'm just scoring this. You know, as if I'm a school teacher. Uh, male dominated on my last nerve. Uh, well, do you know it's weird. Nobody asked you to watch the video, Ava. God, Ava. Tell you what, then, Ava. Why don't you message Shal and ask her if she felt like she did have enough time to talk on the channel. Even though me and Shal have done three videos on my channel, and we're gonna be doing a bunch load more this year. God, some people, you can't even. You can't even, Stephen. Where's Stephen when I need him? What can't even Stephen? Where's Stephen when you need him? I feel like I'm about to burst into song here. Where's Stephen when you need him? I can't believe him. Stephen, Stephen, Stephen. I don't, know, I, just I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm losing my mind reading these comments. Anyway, guys, let's, let's, let's move on. Okay, um, Asperger's in adults. Nine ways for you to spot the symptoms. Another video uh, that we've already seen, but this person's comment on it. Logan Cook, um, cool name, and they said, are disabilities cool now, question mark? These people in the comments seem to think so, full stop. You're shy, bitch. Wait, some tables. <laughs> All we need to do is add an exclamation mark on the end of that and it'll be like, wait, some tables? Like, wait, is that some tables? Anyway, so they're saying disabilities are cool now. No, disability has never been cool. Disabilities are cool and the reason they are cool is because I said so because everybody is cool in their own right regards their ability or not uh, disability is cool now everybody is cool and they've always been cool so shut up secondly this these people in the comments seem to think so you're talking about my community my Aspie world fans my my crew my squad these guys are my life so you don't don't diss my don't diss my squad here Logan Cook you may have a cool name but you got some really bad attitude here Absolutely. Really stinks. So the next thing he said is, "You're, you're a shy bitch," um, which is weird. I, what? What? The, what? Maybe I am shy, but why does that make me a bitch? Wait, some tables. Um, if you're, if you're like trying to say that I should go and wait tables in a restaurant or some kind of eating establishment where tables are waited on. Then you'll be glad to know that I actually have a job not waiting tables. I have a job doing videos like this for YouTube and making other awesome things happen like writing books and doing seminars and stuff. Which by the way guys, if you want to come and see me do a talk live, please go down below and add your name to my mailing list because whenever I'm doing a talk in a city, could be anywhere in the world, I always offer the first come first serve tickets through my mailing list and then on my website uh, subsequently after that. So make sure you subscribe to my mailing list. The link is in the description below and you'll be first to know of anything that's going on ever. So Logan, I'm sorry dude, but waiting tables is an actually cool job and if you enjoy waiting tables then I salute you because it takes every single person to do a certain job to do it. I don't know why he's using waiting tables as a derogative job, you know? A girl who I was in university with doing the same degree as me in chemistry was actually waiting tables for nine years and she still does wait tables and she got a degree in chemistry so there's no difference in your ability versus your job. I mean it's just whatever you feel comfortable doing, there's nothing wrong with it. Shut up Logan, God. Okay, next comment here is uh, seven last bigger symptoms you never knew were traits of video. Uh, this was a cool video, I really loved this video and Willis White said, had to click full stop. Saw the thumbnail and thought donut operator got a lip piercing what? What the heck is a donut operator? Um, donut operator. Let's have a look. Let's have, so let's let's just Google 
Donut Operator. Ooh. Donut Operator is on YouTube. Oh. Donut Operator is a YouTuber. Oh, uh, I get it. I've seen this guy. He's got a fantastic moustache. Well, Donut Operator. That's weird to tell somebody thinks that we're the same. That's, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Um, whatever, I give a guy a like and a, and a hat. Oh, got to text the missus. She's texted me. So, Donut Operator. Yeah, that, 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 was, that was cool. All right, okay, so the next comment here is from the nine ways you know you could spot the symptoms video again. And this person called Cotton Top, which is a weird, like, dog face thing. Uh, when I feel a loss for words, I simply start tap dancing and farting on everybody, lo and everybody loves me for smiling face. Well, do you know what? Thank you so much, Cotton Top, for just basically saying that. It's bizarre, isn't it? You, like, start farting, everybody loves a good fart. It is, I. Oh. Okay, cool. All right, so on with the next one. Well, farting and uh, dancing is, uh, yeah, well, there we go. All right then, on to number 13. Lucky number 13. Okay, this is from a, an Asperger's syndrome and anger video I did, all about anger and Asperger's, and this one said, <laughs> ah, this person said, okay, snowflake. It's kind of taken from that rhetoric where you have like baby boomers and snowflakes, which is kind of like the divide in politics between the left and the right, where the right wing are like baby boomers and the left wing are kind of snowflakes. And anyway, regardless, this person trying to be derogative uh, and said that I was a snowflake, um, and thanks man, snowflakes are delicate, amazing, lovely things that look beautiful, so thanks. Okay, <laughs> the next one. Number 14, here we go. Seven Asperger's symptoms you never knew were traits. Oh, this is a cool video, so this is in, in regards to that. Asperger's, there we go again. See, I told you, I would already made two quid in this video. Asperger's, shut the F up. I mean, is that really necessary? Was that is that really a comment? Is that is that something that we need in our lives? I would actually argue, no, we don't. See, one of the things is that these people aren't very creative with their insults. I mean, that's not a very nice thing to say to anybody, and I don't believe that it's a very good thing. It's just like this weird kind of like, I'm just gonna be horrible for the sake of being horrible, but it's okay, because they get in a video just like this, and I give them a bit of limelight, you know? Maybe I shouldn't be, but it's funny anyway. Let's all laugh. <laughs> Next one here. Um, oh, the same person again, Poo KK, on a different video uh, than Asperger's symptoms you must know had said, Asperger's, again, that's three quid just in this, three pounds just in this one video. There we go, see? Burger World. Asperger's Burger World. What? Is that like a name of a new restaurant? Is it like a competition to McDonald's or Burger King? Burger World, is it? Welcome to Burger World. Can I take your order? That's weird, isn't it? Weird, isn't it? Don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that. Okay, <laughs> number 16, here we go. How autism light sensitivity impacts your life. Oh, this is the video I was telling about with the light, yeah. Okay, do noise sensitivity. Do noise sensitivity. What the point does that even mean? Do noise sensitivity, okay. Ah, noise is sensitive to me. I don't know. Is that what they're asking? Anyway, I, ha I like, like I'm a nice guy. I liked it and I have to the PNE. Okay, I didn't really understand that one. It's not really like a hate comment. That was kind of just like a comment where people was like, hey, this is one of the most ridiculous things I've read for ages. <laughs> Whoa, there's a lot of dust in here today. I don't even know why. I think it's because I'm moving stuff around, but oh my goodness, that dust made me sneeze so hard. Okay, okay, let's get back to the video. 17. <laughs> I don't know why I'm dancing, don't know why. People don't like me and I'm dancing. I don't know, people love me, you guys love me. Again, give this video a like, you know what to type. Okay, uh, seven Asperger's symptoms you never knew were traits. Okay, this is the video that, I do. okay. Pan Peter, cool use of the name bro, said so much bullsh, it couldn't be just social anxiety, it could be just social anxiety, etc. Um. Yes, social anxiety is a part of a comorbid condition of autism because everybody who is on the spectrum usually has a uh, anxiety, social anxiety trait that goes along with it. So this person calling bull crap to it is just a bit kind of uneducated. And the reason that this channel exists. Oh, that reminds me guys, if you want to see a behind the scenes uh, video of this video and everything else, like a, a vlog, like a weekly secret vlog that nobody has access to, check out the Patreon link in the description below. And the join button underneath this video for YouTube
YouTube. Both of them will take you through. You can either support me on Patreon or YouTube, and you get access to a weekly free video from me. And if I'm gonna have any PDFs for download on my website for, for sale, you actually get them for free through the service. Uh, I'm releasing a bunch of them next month, so yeah, hang tight for that. Boom. Okay. Anyway, so if, yeah, if you want to support this channel and see an extra video every week, a secret one that nobody else has access to, make sure you hit that join membership button underneath here for YouTube, or you can go to Patreon and do it on Patreon. Whichever you prefer is the best. Mwah. Okay, so, uh, Pam Peter, I believe that your comment is rubbish. Okay, comment number 18. What causes autism? Five things you need to know. This is the video it was taken from, uh, and uh, this person, so this is quite an interesting one. This person said, oh my god. Um, Mega vaccines, mega autism, mega profits. I have no idea what this means, but it sounds to me like they are saying that um, vaccines cause autism, which they don't. It's been proven that this is complete and utter fabrication, and that it makes mega profits. I don't know how you profit from autism. I don't know how you profit from because it's not like it's weird. Why? What, what is that about? I don't know. But people are strange. People are strange to me and I do not get them. Okay guys, I think we're on to the final comment. Oh, okay. Drum roll please. Actually, I don't even know why this is the, the, the drum roll for this one. It might actually be the best comment. I think the, the best comment's already been, but let's do it. Okay. <laughs> not my cup. My Facebook creator's cup. Cool. Okay, right. This is from a video I did about 10 Asperger symptoms you must know. Um, Melopede. Uh, it's an interesting name, said, I feel the things you describe go for every human alive. Okay, guys, if I had a pound for every time I heard that, I would be a millionaire because that is like such rubbish. Like everybody says, oh, there's nothing wrong with you. You don't seem autistic. Everybody has those things. That's just humans. That kind of rhetoric really kind of, I just, I can't, I can't even sometimes, guys. But, you know, I tell you what I can't even with. I can't even with people being caring and loving and awesome as you guys. And because you guys are so awesome, please share this video on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, wherever you see fit, because it would really help me out if you shared this video. And I'd love you forever for it. And when you do share it, tag me in it so I can like it. And then I'll share it on my page. And maybe some people come over to you and you'll have more friends. And we'll all have more friends and we'll be a big community. So sharing is caring. Please share this video. Guys, if you like this video, let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more like this, because I had fun making this video. I believe that you guys enjoy these videos, but yes, I'm working on some very, very super awesome projects. Yes, I've got the masterclass coming out, which you guys saw the advert for, and also I am working on my book. <laughs> okay, I already have a book out, but this one, next one, is specifically on autism and hacks and tips and tricks, and I'm very excited to release it. It'll be coming out later this year. Oh yes. Okay guys, that being said, I'm gonna go. I will see you next time, guys. Peace.